Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for August, okay? You could say it's for the next week or whenever you want, but this is for any time in August, okay? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So let's just see what we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, whatever, whatever. So what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? That one wants to come out. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. So you may have to go through a new doorway. It's waiting for you. Okay, the opportunity is waiting for you. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. So you do have protection from a powerful friend, maybe in the form of a dog. Could also be a human. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Okay, so you are going to be having a period of prosperity and abundance. You know, protection from a powerful friend. It could be an animal. It could also be somebody that has passed away. There is a new doorway that is opening for you that leads to prosperity and abundance. Make sure you go through it when it's presented, okay? So what do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? My deck was upside down. What do I have for Aquarius? Oh, that one wants to come out. Ooh, enemy disguised as a friend. So I'm not sure who that person is. But you have an enemy that is disguised as a friend. So this is somebody that you think is your friend. They're not. Hmm. Bad advice from a friend or family member. You definitely have somebody here that is giving you advice that is not your friend. They may be very jealous of you. They don't want to see you succeed. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Uh, I don't know. Leo. There's something to do with Leo. Um, you need to be strong. You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to be proud of yourself in some way. Hold your head up high. There's somebody here trying to take you down by the looks of things. That's my guess. Could be somebody that has Leo in their chart. Oh, we have another one flip. Woohoo! Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. So fives are about change. They are about conflict. They are about struggles, power struggles, personal freedom. Expect the unexpected. Your life is about to change. This is a major life change. It's actually positive change. But it is major life change. And it comes from a conflict. So you're gonna you're gonna have to deal with this conflict. You are gonna have to deal with this conflict. Let's get one of these. Expect the unexpected. There's a family member or a friend that is... I don't know if they're trying to force something or they're trying to control you in some way. Uh, it's like they're... they're gonna Whatever's happening with this person, it feels like you're going to be breaking free from this person because fives are personal freedom and it's a major life change. The moon. The moon could also be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. All is not as it seems. Uh, something is hidden. Somebody is hiding something. Could I even have to do with addictions, but there's something that is hidden below the surface. Um, somebody is not telling the truth. The, the, the moon card is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. There's also illusion here. There's fantasy. There's um, a lack of reality. We may even have some paranoia here. Uh, 
there's a need to look deep look really 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 deep you got somebody here that is hiding something okay and they're hiding it very 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 well this is deception um, you're in the dark with the situation um, expect the unexpected I feel like there's going to be some sort of reveal okay there's something is going to be revealed that has been hidden which changes your uh, perception of whoever this person is let's get one of these there's an unclear and difficult path ahead with that moon with that moon card get prepared for a change that you know you don't expect retreat retreat i'm not sure if somebody has some addictions they may need help they may need to go to a retreat they may need to go to rehab maybe they've been hiding their addiction or something like that there could be an upset a major upset where they get forced to go to re go to rehab and i don't know who that is or if that even resonates with you like i said take what resonates and leave the rest there's also a need for you to retreat you may need to heal you may need to take a time out from this person Retreat. I'm going to go ahead and read that card. Spend time with nature. Seek silence and solitude. Within each season, nature is in perfect harmony with animals and plants. Secret gardens are bountiful, hidden away from the public, and blessed in abundance of natural life. Being in nature allows you to naturally reset and recharge your energy fields by grounding your energy in the present. Being constantly available removes your ability to retreat and hibernate when your soul is crying out for solitude. Nature brings all that we need to survive and it is within nature you can remove yourself from any situation. Creating space between you and a particular issue will give you a better perspective. Your mind will become focused and clearer towards your goals, desires, and best course of action. Exhaustion, stress, and chronic fatigue are triggering your fight or flight response. Being in nature will assist your body in resetting its biorhythm, synchronizing your energy into its natural cycles. Stress relief and emotional reprieve is achievable now if you commit to placing yourself first. A physical retreat such as a holiday may be in order. Now is the time to escape. Your social or, or your soul requires solitude. Find a special place that you alone can call your own secret garden. It is here that you can pause and take rest, knowing that you are removed and hidden from the rest of the world. You can reflect and escape from interference and detach from group or family conflicts without guilt, finally receiving peace of mind and stillness and sunshine. Nurturing your empathic qualities gives you an opportunity to find joy and appreciate the beauty of simplicity. Stop and smell the roses. Don't promise to hold secrets you know you can't keep. So maybe you need to reveal a secret. Privacy is required as matters need to be approached delicately and diplomatically, even if you want to shelf them from the rooftop. So maybe, I mean, I don't know, this is interesting. Take a step back or disconnect from technology. You need to spend more time in nature. So you need to disconnect from technology and spend more time in nature. Basically ground yourself. You will receive messages, your intuition will increase, it's, and you will receive the guidance that you need. You need to basically do some soul searching. You need to still the, 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 your soul, perhaps. You know what I mean? You need to nourish your soul in solitude and take a step back. Take a step back. So that's very interesting. I feel like if you take a step back and you go retreat, you know, in the stillness of the earth, 
you know, you go out in nature, you go where it's really quiet, you go by yourself, you don't bring any tools with you, okay, you're just going there to sit, okay, you're going there to sit, you go there to sit, you're not doing there, you're not going there to do anything but sit and, and meditate, you don't need anything superficial, okay, you go out there, you sit, you're going to receive some answers. Seven of, oh no, nine. Nine of cups. Ace of wands. Six of wands reversed. Princess of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles. Just gonna get the cards. High Priestess, Page of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune reversed, Queen of Swords reversed. Somebody's too in their emotions. They're not grounded at all. They're not grounded and not being realistic and not being practical. They're letting their mind drift. They're, they're too much in their fantasy. They need to really get practical. They need to get logical. They need to ground themselves. Seriously. You got somebody here that really needs to get out in nature and ground themselves. It's like they're, they're letting their emotions, their fantasies, their illusions uh, run away with them. Maybe causing them to be paranoid, you know. Um, it, could, it could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. I feel like you are deepening your spiritual practice. I feel like a lot of you are really receiving messages from the divine. I feel like you um, <coughs> may be misjudging some of those messages because I feel like there's paranoia here and I don't, I don't know where the paranoia is coming from but I feel like there's paranoia here. I feel like... Uh, uh, you need to release. We get the, the last card out is the Four of Pentacles. You need to release something that you are holding on to. It could be a grudge. It could be an obsession. You know, the Four of Pentacles is an obsession. I feel like there's some bad luck or bad news or you've experienced some sort of setback in your life. Whatever this setback was, it, it, it has made you stronger intuitively. It has, it has aided in your spiritual growth. I feel like... Uh, Queen of Swords reverse. There's some there's some sort of lack of clarity here where I'm not sure if you're bitter or if you're upset over a situation or a loss that maybe you've experienced some sort of horrendous loss in your life. Right, right, right next to the Queen of Swords reverse is the Wheel of Fortune reverse. That's bad luck. It's a setback. It's a um, it's a horrendous loss. So I feel like if you if if it's already happened, you may be feeling bitter. You may be feeling angry. You may be feeling upset. Um, I feel like you maybe you were hoping and wishing for something, you know, and and uh, maybe you knew it wasn't going to work out, but you did it anyway, and now it's hard to let it go. It's really, 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 really hard to let it go, but I feel like you have a new exciting opportunity that's about to be presented to you. If it hasn't been presented to you already, it may be here right now. You, you Maybe it's a new partner or whatever it is. It's a new exciting uh, direction with that Ace of Wands. It's like... This is exciting. It's 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 a fresh start. It's 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 action. Take action. You know, uh, take this opportunity. It's exciting. But I feel like I feel like you are reluctant to take any opportunity that is given to you right now. Maybe you don't trust. Maybe you're you you're bitter. You're bitter because of a loss in the past. I do see bitterness here. I see bitterness. I see. I see. It's like, no, I don't trust anybody. You know, I, I don't dare to, or, or I'm bitter, I'm hateful, I'm angry. And I don't know if that's the case, but it feels like we have somebody here that is. I feel like you need to uh, open your heart. You need to go out and have some fun. You need to uh, uh, move in a new direction with that Ace of Wands. I feel like you're being given an exciting opportunity, but you may be... You may be not taking it, not accepting it, not unwilling or kind of like unwilling to open your heart, unwilling to uh, start anything. You know, I don't really want to start anything right now. Um, I feel like...
you do have a new prospect right around the corner, a new, a new opportunity. It's like the, the universe or God, there's your doorway. The, the opportunities are waiting for you. Then the page of pentacles is right around the corner. That's a new opportunity to start over, to start on a new project, to, to broaden your horizons. It's like they're giving you an opportunity to start over. This is exciting. It can lead to wish fulfillment, but it's not going to be easy. And you're going to have to learn new skills. You're going to have to do things that you normally wouldn't do and it may be it may require you to open your heart and not let not let the past hurts hold you back not let the past bitterness hold you back I feel like you have an opportunity right now that is going to be given to you to go through a doorway and do something like this is like a creative project right or a creative opportunity where you can create abundance you can create success you can create a foundation you may be laying a new foundation you have an opportunity to lay a new foundation if you can master your emotions and not let anger or hate or bitterness get in the way and I don't I don't know who that is you know typically you guys are not like that but with the queen of swords in reverse that is somebody that is typically bitter lonely you know that kind of thing um overly critical uh obsessed damaged flawed you know um fatally flawed uh hateful, revengeful, you know, that is not going to bring you success. Acting on revenge is not going to bring you success. Um, and I feel like it's a woman. I don't feel like it's a man. And I, and I, and most people aren't going to like that either, but I feel like we have a woman here that is in a revengeful state of mind, whether it's you or whoever it is. If you're a man watching this, I don't think it's you. I'm just being honest. I think it's a, I think it's a woman. I think we have a revengeful, bitter woman here who is trying to stop somebody from succeeding and trying to do whatever they need to do to stop them from it's like jealous this is a jealous woman here um that is that is trying to overpower her herself she may be doing things thinking you know thinking she's so smart thinking she has the power to control another person she doesn't she doesn't she may think that she does um, she may think, you know, it's almost like that black magic kind of thing. I have the, I have the power to control you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, don't let that's fear. Okay, that's fear. Don't let fear get in the way that, that, that somebody can do that to you. That's complete fear. Um, anyhow, there's no victory here. Whoever this woman is, mirroring that is the Six of Wands reverse. We have a bitter, nasty woman here who is trying to, uh, she's abusing her power. She's abusing her power in some way and she's not going to be victorious. She's not going to be victorious. She's, it feels like she's going to have a setback. We've got karma right next to her, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. That's bad luck. It's, 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 it's going backwards. It's a fall from power. It's a fall from grace. You know, when somebody tries to abuse their power, the universe will usually, not always, because it's a lesson to be there, usually step in and stop them right in their tracks. I do believe we do have somebody here that's about to be stopped right in their tracks. Um, I do feel like there's a new sexual partner here for somebody. And I don't know if it's for you or if it's for somebody that you're dealing with that may cause some bitterness. We could have an ex here that is really upset over a new sexual partner and is trying to control the situation. Um, there is like a new partner here, a new a new sexual partner for somebody. Somebody is going down a new path. They're going, they're going, they're, it's like they have this new golden opportunity to lay a foundation and start over where there is love and there is emotional fulfillment and they haven't been victorious in the past, but there's another person that is very, 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 very jealous that is going to try to manipulate the situation. That's what's happening. That is what's happening. There's like emotional blackmail. It is. It is emotional blackmail. There's blackmail here. Trying and trying to instill fear. We got somebody here that's trying to instill fear in in others or in, in or in another person. This person that is abusing their power is going to have a setback. It's a big one. Uh, Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's, it's a huge setback. I feel as though uh, 
you're going to be laying a new foundation, starting a new project, or starting on a new path. I feel like it's with somebody uh, that you are very attracted to. You may be reluctant to open your heart. Maybe you're not looking for it, and it's and it's right here. It's just, you know, it's at the right time. It's at the right time. Um, It's time to relax. I think that you need to relax. I feel like you need to let your guard down. I feel like you need to go down this path and commit yourself to something better. You need to commit yourself to whatever this is. I mean, a better life. And I feel like you've been deceived. I feel like you've been deceived by this woman. There's a woman here who lies a lot. She's very untrustworthy. Somebody's about to get their bubble burst. There's a rejection here. There is a rejection. I feel like there's a rejection. This is like, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened, which has caused this, this woman to be so bitter. She's so bitter that she just wants to be vindictive. You know, there's vindictive behavior here. But I feel like there's like a counselor or a nurse or somebody that is very empathic. Maybe it's a healer that can help this person to heal. Somebody may be sent, they may be committed, they may be become committed, you know. Somebody may be sent to a, to a place where they, you know, are... going to be releasing that pain to heal to heal something about healing i don't know who that is for if somebody here has addictions as well they have addictions big time i do feel as though uh Some of you, if you're single and you're watching this, and, and you're single, you're single, and you're looking for love, there's there is love around here. We have a, we have a woman here. We have a couple women. We have a bitch, and then we have a lover. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords reversed, then we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so we have this bitch versus uh, somebody that is looking for love, somebody that is loving, caring, kind, gentle, tranquil. Uh, emotionally expressive somebody that is kind so I feel like you 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 have an opportunity for love here but it will require you to take steps in a new direction in which you know you may be like oh my god I really don't want to start over but if you don't start over then maybe you're gonna be alone you know there's there's loneliness here there is with the Queen of Swords reverse whether it's you or whoever I have to do is look at a card to see what it is there's loneliness so I do believe that you have an opportunity to lay a new foundation if you are re ready and willing to stick with it okay and maybe you've been uh, wishing and hoping that you could break free from this I don't know who it is, but it looks like it's a bitch to me. Anyhow, if you could break free from this bitch, but maybe maybe you couldn't maybe you couldn't uh, fully break free because of some sort of commitment that you were in. Um, exciting new opportunity ahead. Open your heart. Follow your heart. Express your feelings. Don't don't uh, allow this person to control you. They know that they've got you in fear. They know that they do. They know that they have you wrapped right around your their little finger. You know, go down that path. Maybe you've lost sight of your goals. You've let this person control you. Don't. Don't do that, okay? Face your fears, even though there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. I feel like you have some sort of desire, you know, for something more, but you're letting letting fear hold you back okay i think that you, your life is about to change in a very uh big way because of that five 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 but it requires you to take the steps with that page of pentacles okay it does this is like a new prospect you do have a new prospect here that has grabbed your attention by the looks of things because of that ace of wands that's a spark it's an attraction it's just go for it just do it this is what you want next to the nine of cups this is what you want but if you let 
this person scare you into not doing it or if they've got you so afraid that you know whatever they're gonna do then you've given them your power you've given them your control okay you need to take control don't you need to be proud of who you are if you're not happy in this situation if it's not love if it's unrequited love which it looks like it is and your gut is telling you that you need to uh, release this person even if you know they don't agree then so be it Anyhow, I do see you laying a new foundation. I see you needing to just do it. Uh, it's not going to be easy. I, think, I see you slowly taking steps in that direction. Some of you may be traveling. You may be traveling to somebody. Um, really broadening your horizons big time. Um, I feel like there's been a delay in your success. Uh, and maybe it's because you're in this foundation that isn't uh, full of love. It doesn't look like it's full of love. But in the future, you have love with this Queen of Cups. That's in the future position. It's a new prospect. It is. It's somebody that uh, is has a really, really, really big heart. This is like a healer. I believe it's a, it's a heal. Somebody, you know, it could be a... a, a a nurse, a counselor, a tarot reader, a medium, a psychic, an empath, whoever this person is that is in your future is a lover, is, is full of love and their focus is to heal others. This person is in your future. They, this is a very loving, gentle, kind person. Um, and this person is, is looking for commitment. Okay, they're looking for a commitment and maybe that's something that scares you as well. But anyhow, I do believe that uh, oh, the Knight of Pentacles is on the bottom. That's about acting with integrity. You have an opportunity that is right in the palm of your hand to build security. I feel like it's in new territory with the Page of Pentacles, some place you've never been but it will require hard work and I feel like you have the skills to obtain that success. I really do. I feel like you have because the Knight of Pentacles is very skilled individual. It's like you have some sort of skill that can bring you reward. But I feel like there's some bitch that is holding you back. Maybe you need to take a time out by yourself, not with your friends or anybody, and just go sit and think about your future. What do you want for yourself? There's no progress being made in a current relationship where there's secrets. Somebody is keeping secrets. They're hiding their feelings. It feels like they don't want to be in it. But they're in it because they don't want to release. Maybe it's because of the financial security of it. It's four of pentacles reversed. You know, if you're, when you're holding on to something for financial reasons instead of love, and I've talked about this all the time, there's going to be a horrendous loss, Wheel of Fortune reverse. There's going to be setback after setback after setback after setback until you remove yourself from the, from the loveless situation because God put us on this earth to love, not for financial security. But there's an opportunity for financial security if you follow your heart and act with integrity. And I don't know if that's for you or the other person. But anyway, there is a period of prosperity and abundance that is coming for, to you when you go through a new doorway that you have probably been afraid to go through. I also feel like you're going to be receiving some tender love and care from somebody. You know, somebody that is a real lover. Good luck.